This is Odin's Wolf Survival, and today I got in a Holtzman's Gorilla Survival Knife. It is a 1095, 1095 high carbon steel blade, almost 7 inches long, a bit over 12 total length. The handles are fiberglass with a colored inset, clip point. It is nasty sharp. Very thick, as you can tell. The handles are nicely contoured and have a good grip. And it is really pretty fairly non-slip and it should bite into the leather glove pretty good too. So that shouldn't be too bad. Has a lanyard hole. Like I said, this thing's got a bit of weight to it. So it feels pretty substantial. Good point. As you can see, it's got a really, really solid point, really thick. I think you could probably come close to pry and open a car door with this thing. So this is Osage. I have some red cedar, so we'll do some fine shavings. But before we do that, we're gonna check out what else is in there. Kydex sheath with a positive lock retention and a strap. So it stays in quite well. It won't come out. It has a loop on it for the fire steel that comes with it. So that'll slide in. And the handle on the fire steel, the grip on the fire steel is G10. And it has an elastic shock cord. So it makes a positive stay. Now it doesn't matter what. That really won't come out, and if it does, the shock cord tends to want to we'll pull it back down, which is a big plus. The scraper, G10 handle, it fits into the sheath. It locks in. You can just you could hear it click, and that's a good positive lock. The spine has enough of a 90 degree on it. If you lose this, which I would probably shock cord it to here. You can actually scrape it with the spine. Bit of cord for the lanyard, whatever you want to do. Like I said, I take this, secure it to this. You have an Allen wrench that comes with it to tighten things up. Well, screwdriver more or less. They're kind of a pain in the butt to get out of there. screwdriver, Allen wrench. The Allen wrench does not fit the handles. Screwdriver fits your screws on your Kydex sheet. This thing is usually kind of expensive as an add-on for different, different companies and stuff have made it for a while. It's quick attachment to your belt, fully adjustable. Just pop these out with your belt. It'll take a fairly wide belt if you take it out, snaps in, and you can shift positions on this so you can carry it however you want. Basic, well, you can carry it in a vertical or horizontal position on your belt. A lot of people like to carry their knives across the back of the front anymore, and this will accompany that. The dangler sheath, you'll probably have to have one made out of leather. I don't know if they company makes one of those I don't believe so I think it's kydex that seems to be the popular thing at the moment but like I said this is a fairly heavily built knife positive retention in the sheath and it's sturdy that's hedge no damage So, if you're making a fireboard, I like the clip knives or drop point knives because you can start a divot pretty easy in most things. It's got a good enough spine on here that you can break stuff and not have to worry about it. 
which is a good thing. It's one nice thing about a heavy knife. Okay, the other side is, like I said, this is Osage. It's old, it's dry. If nobody's ever messed with Osage, this stuff gets hard as woodpecker lips, and it usually does bad things to a lot of stuff. They used to make wagon wheels out of it. They make bows out, or wagon wheel spokes, bows out of it. Fence posts around here. There's fence posts that have been in the ground for a hundred years around here. It's rot resistant, it's really hard. Uh, I can remember as a kid helping my grandfather drive fence staples into this stuff, and I hated it because it was a real pain in the yak just driving it in there. But that was, I don't know, five or six at the time, so you know. But even still, today I can tell you driving nails in this stuff isn't any fun. And it, this is a good test on a knife. You can see what it, it's doing a pretty good job on it. You can see the you can see the marks from the spine it's putting into this stuff. That's kind of impressive. This is very dry, very hard. Cut that. And that edge is still very, very sharp. It's kind of impressive. This stuff will dull a lot of stuff. So that's a pretty decent test. This is red cedar. You can see right where I was chopping is still. This isn't really what I would consider a vegetable chopper. It's a little bit thick for that. But if you're building a shelter, need to rough cut up some sticks, stakes, anything you heavy work, this will work great. Real fine detail work. You can do a lot, of, you can do a lot of it. It's just a little thick for my taste for this sort of thing, but it will work. 
and this little companion, the neck knife, really works good for this sort of stuff. But there you go. There's a little bit of a feather stick. And this thing is sharp. There's that. This is so dry it might not work real well. There you go. That's Osage. The Holtzman's Gorilla Survival Knife. It retails, it runs in on Amazon about $150. Like I said, the blade is almost seven inches long. It's 12 inches overall. Looks to be close to quarter inch thick. There's 1095 high carbon steel, glass handles, colored insets. You can get these in three different colors, I believe is what they're offered, is orange, red, and silver. This is what I ended up getting. I like, kind of like this. This isn't a bad knife for what it is. Smash the subscribe button such as you would your fearsome foe.